right, so I just got one of my longest awaiting packages. Actually, not longest awaiting because it got here like in less than a week. But I just got a part that I've been wanting for a while in the mail. And I finally got the courage to order it. And now it's sitting in the back. So let's get home and I'm going to show you guys what it is. <laughs> All right, so here is the package. Before I show you guys what it is, I already went ahead and opened it up because I always like to check my packages once I receive them and make sure everything is good. So here it is, the Miracle Crossbar. I actually got this from some guy named Sho in Japan and it it's actually authentic. It's actually made by, this one right here is made by a company called Next. Um, let's go ahead and show you guys. All right, so here it is, boys. Miracle crossbar. All right, so I ended up opting for the 32 millimeter bars instead of the 35. I just wanted something a little bit thinner, not too thick. So, I mean, there's like barely a difference either way. I mean, three millimeters isn't too far off. So whatever, I just ended up going with that. So I got the butterfly bars, the upper and lower bars, and the butterfly bars. Dude, as soon as I saw this thing, I had to get it. Um, the first time I actually saw this was on OK Tommy's car on Instagram, I believe. And his FD is pretty badass with the Rocket Bunny kit. So shout out to you for making this product known to me. Actually, I also ran across it on Final Form. And I ended up finding it elsewhere through some guy named Show, And he gave me a really good price on this. So I had to get it. And how you know it's authentic and from Japan. They throw this DVD in there. Only in Japan, buddy. Yeah, so they threw this in there, and I don't know what it's really about, so I'm going to have to watch this one of these days. So let's put that aside for now. And I also got this. I'm not quite sure what this is yet. All right, so what was inside this was RX-7 FT3 ASCD. I'm guessing it's a DVD about the Miracle X-Bar and how it works or maybe how to install it i'm not quite sure oh this is pretty cool nice they threw in some they threw in some tags so it's pretty cool you know nice very nice and i gotta watch this and see what this is all about but i kind of have an idea of how to install this thing so i don't think i'll be looking at that and maybe i'll look at it later and realize what a dumbass i was if i messed something up but I'm just going to go ahead and wing it. So let's get this thing open and on. All right, it's hard to do with one hand, so I'm going to go ahead and open it up and start mounting this thing. But by the way, it looks it looks like I'm going to have to take it I'm going to have to take the bar apart and install it one bar at a time, so I think I'm going to have to go ahead and do that. All right, so what I need to do now is remove this rear quarter panel and drill through it, so I'm going to go ahead and take it off and we're going to drill through it. I already did the other side, so I know where to drill through because it has like markings in the back so i'm gonna go ahead and do that so here's a panel right here and we need to drill right at this corner right here right above this corner of this line because that's where the hole for the bolt will go so and that's what i like doing first i like drilling everything out first and then putting everything on so that way it goes on easy and smooth so let me go ahead and drill that and you can see right here, I have like an inch and a half or inch and a quarter hole saw right here that I'm going to use to drill the hole. Send me, I know you. Send me, darling. You. Send me, I know you. So what I'm going to do now is just scuff up the edge with the sandpaper. Let me show you guys the hole and where it actually 
lines up. I mean, I might be like a tiny bit off, but that should work. I'll make the hole a little bit bigger if I have to. So now that that's set, we need to go ahead and take this apart. And what I like to do is like, let me focus here. What I like to do is like, let's say I to remove that bolt right there. I like to like have everything like set up properly where it goes. So that way, if I don't know how a certain bolt goes, then I just place them in the certain spot they go and boom, makes it that much simpler. And if I do get confused, I could always look at the video or the pictures. So let's go ahead and take this apart. Send me, I know you. Darling, you me. All right, so this is the first step on installing the X-Bar, which is this uh, has an Allen key head, so we need the Allen wrench. So you got to make sure if you don't have one, go buy like the biggest ones you could find, the biggest set, because this is pretty big. So just like a heads up, I had to go uh, borrow this because I didn't have it. So I want to tighten it, but not too tight, just loosely to where I could still move this around just to get a, an idea of where it should go. Actually, I don't think that matters because once you bolt that on, then it's going to be secure. So yeah, just go ahead and tighten this up. All right, this part right here is going to be kind of tricky, kind of hard due to it not I don't know if you can see, but I need to extend these bars a little bit more so it reaches that end over there. So this is going to be kind of tricky. Send me, I know you. Send me, darling, you. Alright, so the drill, I had to drill that out because the bolts that they gave me didn't fit through there, so I had to make them wider. Send me, I know you. Alright, so I got this section on right here. There's two washers that go in between this piece right here. And right here, the two washers go on the short side because you can see this one is a longer piece on the shorter side. It has two washers that go there, I guess, to give it spacing for the bar that goes across here. So I'm going to go ahead and get that other one on on that side and try to figure out where what direction these go right here and then start tightening everything up and getting it ready. All right, next, how, you get it? Okay, next we're doing this uh, smaller bar right here. So get this easy one out of the way. Send me, I know you. Send me, darling. Let me show you guys the complexity of this thing because it is pretty hard. Okay, so I got these in, right? So let's say I were to leave everything loose and then put this one connected to there. The thing is, how would you tighten up this section right here? Well, first you got to figure out the angle of this, how it's going to go, and then tighten it up. And then you could go ahead and bolt the other one on. So... As far as this one goes, this one could be tightened up as is, but just this section right here. So what you would have to do is line up the other one first, the butterfly bar, and get the right spacing or the right direction, as you should say, um, 
and then bolt it down and then go ahead and proceed to put on your butterfly bar so that is how we are going to do it and that is what is next all right guys now that i got that section to where i want it i could go ahead and tighten it down Send me. Darling, you send me, I know you send me, darling, you send me, I know you send me, darling, you send me, darling, you send me. To a little snag so it's hitting right here once I set it down like this, so, like this say. so it hits right there so I'm gonna have to cut that off in order for this to sit flush and not give me any troubles while putting it on so I'm gonna go ahead and do that Right, guys now this is how the rear X bar looks the company that makes this is called a uh, next Nippon or Nippon however you pronounce it final form I believe sells this one too and they sell the exact same one it's by next and this is authentic from them as you could tell from the box and the packaging um, I actually found this guy online i emailed him we went back and forth for a bit and he ended up giving me a really good price on this thing and i couldn't refuse and i had to buy it so and there's a couple things i want to go over with you guys that will not bug me you know the product looks amazing so but i'm gonna have to figure out a way to modify it i guess you could say so one of them is this right here how this bolt hits this plastic section right here so I might have to trim this off a little bit so I got to go ahead and mark that and trim it out either way I got to remove all the interior panels to make sure there is no rust and get rid of the rust as I stated before in previous videos so that really doesn't bug me because it's an easy fix just cut around there right here it kind of hits so I'm gonna have to trim it there too the same I already trimmed the other side so the other side's kind of good I just got to clean it up Another thing is this bolt right here. It's like really hard to get to, but once you get it in there, it's all good. You just tighten it down. Shout out to Next for making such an amazing product. I don't know, like just the whole design and concept of it. I love it. So without them, my car wouldn't look good. Well, I mean, it still would once it's done, but it wouldn't look as good as it does with this bar on it. And if you guys are in the market for some kind of cage or strut bar, I would suggest going with them. This is by no means a sponsored video whatsoever. I paid almost full price for this, but I did get a little bit of discount from, I guess you could say a broker that was selling this product. Um, but yeah, it looks amazing. Just look at it. The whole design and concept of it looks like super badass and i'm glad i went with this so if you guys are like like i said in the market for a strut bar i would suggest you guys go with this one because this thing looks fucking sick it looks like this thing looks amazing like i was gonna go with the roll cage four point roll cage that is and i was looking for like a design kind of like this with like the x bar so I, that way i would tell my welder how to make the cage and how to make it look but I ended up coming across this and it was just like completely perfect so I was gonna go with the cage and then go with the little stock not stock but aftermarket strut bar and like I don't know now that I think about it if I would have gone that route the car wouldn't wouldn't look as good as it does now 
So next step is having my buddy Giovanni over at AV Window Tinting remove the back windshield tint so that way you can see the explore. I'm not a huge fan of having a fishbowl look around the car, but with all the stuff I have inside, I just have to. I just have to have everyone see the work that is done inside from the outside when I'm driving, etc when I'm at car shows and having the windows in it would be pointless because this is like kind of like a showpiece slash stability piece but I would say more on the lines of a showpiece I mean it would probably do good in a crash but not as good obviously as a welded on roll cage but it'll work it'll it's good and now for the seal of approval, I usually don't put stickers on the parts I buy or the car itself, but I will put this one because I really like it. So and it and it kind of matches the interior of the car, so that's a good sign. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on and you guys just watch. Send me. Right, let me show you guys the seal of approval yo what's up so I just got a word from my boy Giovanni he's on his way he's gonna remove the rear tent on the hatch for the RX-7 it has a defroster line so I don't want to mess with it and I don't have the um, steamer to take it off so it's a lot easier if he does it you know so I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a time-lapse of that hope you guys enjoy and after that, I'm going to show you how the X-Bar looks without the tent. I'm excited. Let's get it. Alright, so my boy Giovanni just left. Um, if you guys need any tending work done, make sure to hit him up. His Instagram is right here. He is the best at what he does. Not only that, but he has great customer service. And if something ever goes wrong with your tent, he will go ahead and fix it with no problem, no questions asked. And he'll make he'll make it a priority to fix what is needed on your vehicle. So he will not put you in the back burner. He will hook you up with the tent so with that being said the tent is off the car and it looks amazing i can't all right are you guys ready this is how it looks a million times better now that it's clear you could clearly see the x bar next bar is what i'm gonna call it from now on you could clearly see the next bar it's just with no tent it looks like a million times better and i love it so i'm really happy with the work he came in and he knocked this out pretty fast. He's really good at what he does. He took about like what, like he was here literally like 20, 25 minutes taking this off and he got it done. No glue left behind, which is a big plus. No, nothing, just clear, ready to go. Boom, he took off the tent and my defrosters are still intact, which is a big plus. So thank you, shout out to Giovanni. Thank you very much for hooking it up as always my number one go-to guy for tent so like I said if any of you guys need tent once again his name is right here at AV underscore window underscore tinting I believe it is so I'll just put it right here so you guys could see so make sure to give him a follow and hit him up for your tinting needs back to this the next bar looks amazing I love how it looks I can't really show you guys the back end of this thing but just look at that a lot better. I'm still working on removing that. I was removing that, but I like stopped. I need to go ahead and take off the door panel and remove the glass. That way I could do it off of the car since the window doesn't roll up right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that pretty soon. So you guys stay tuned for that. I'm also gonna remove the passenger one and show you guys how I do that. I mean, it's not as good as Giovanni's, but I'm gonna try, you know? And I told him he was he wanted to do these for me, but I told him not to. I told him I would take care of it. So that's why 
he didn't do those so i'm gonna go ahead and do those myself and yeah so the x-bar is finally installed i do need to go back and tighten it down a little bit but besides that it's installed and ready to go next up on this car is remove the whole interior remove the x-bar again that's why i left it loose so i'm going to remove the x-bar remove the interior the whole interior basically just leave the dash or i might remove the dash too and look for rust anywhere like i stated before find the rust get rid of the rust and put everything back together all right so you guys saw the x-bar it's installed the window tint is off and <clears throat> told you guys what video is next or what's coming up next for me to do on this car you know i might change it up a little bit not quite sure yet so that is it for today's video make sure to hit that like share comment and subscribe button also make sure to hit that notification bell down below to get notified when i post more videos and updates so with that being said we'll leave it here ed range keep on rotating peace